And joining us now is Kansas Representative Jake LaTurner. Good morning. Good morning. Glad thanks. to be with you. Yeah, thanks for being here. We'll get to, um, we'll touch on the FBI threats in just a minute, but I wanted to start with the fentanyl crisis in the country. Uh, you're actually in town today for a round table to address this crisis in Kansas. So tell us your thoughts on this and what people can expect from the round table. Well, I, as a member of the Homeland Security Committee, I'm uh, keenly aware of the crisis we have when it comes to fentanyl. Over 14,000 pounds have crossed our southern border. Uh, and nearly one Kansan is dying every day from this. It is 50 to 100 times more powerful than morphine is, and it's being laced in other drugs. People don't know that they're taking it uh, most of the time. So it's a serious issue. We're having a round table where we have uh, the parents of a victim, we have law enforcement, uh, we have uh, several sheriffs that'll be there, several county attorneys, and the point is for me to listen and see what we can do at the federal level to combat this. Is this round table open to the public? Uh, no, but we will be, uh, afterwards, we'll be talking to the press and, okay. uh, and, and coming out with hopefully some solutions that we can take to the federal level, but because we know first and foremost, uh, we need to stop the inflow of this on the southern border. That's where this is coming through. Um, but what can we do beyond that to make people more aware, to give law enforcement the tools that they need uh, to, to make sure we can stop this happening? It's the number one killer of people from 18 to 45, the number one. We have to be vigilant about this and we have to do things about it. Okay, and I believe we will be there at that round table. So we I will, hope so, um, yeah. yeah. We'll have some updates later in our evening shows. But um, moving forward to the, uh, President Biden is expected to sign the Inflation Reduction Act into law today. Now the bill will lower the cost of energy, prescription drugs, and other health care while hiking taxes on um, large corporations. So you actually voted no on this. So tell us your reasoning behind that. Well, as your previous news stories talked about, the back to school is happening right now. Parents across the state of Kansas are going back and buying their kids uh, the things that they need to get back to school, and they see the price increases. They see it every day. Uh, one of your stories talked about people are uh, stop going to therapy because of inflation. The cost is too much. They can't afford the gas to get there. Um, this bill was falsely called uh, the Inflation Reduction Act. Nothing could be further from the true. The Congressional Budget Office says itself uh, that this does nothing to lower inflation. $750 billion dollars of taxpayer money being spent, uh, we cannot afford it. A lot of this money is unaccounted for money, just going to bureaucrats in Washington uh, so they can pick and choose winners uh, in the, the green energy sector. And so it wasn't a good bill. Uh, what we need to be focused on in Washington, D.C. is reducing inflation, and you cannot. Uh, no economics book uh, will ever tell you that you can reduce inflation by spending more uh, government money. Okay, um, real quick, we're almost out of time for um, part one of this interview, but okay. um, a recount is now underway for the constitutional amendment on abortion in Kansas that failed earlier this month. Give us your thoughts on the recount happening um, in nine counties across the state. Well, I would say I'm a pro-life person. I wish that the amendment uh, would have passed, um, but um, I, uh, you know, the people have spoken, and um, I think the people that are asking for this recount, their hearts are in the right place, um, but I think efforts are best spent on looking forward and saying, hey, you know, what did we learn in this election and, uh, and how can we be successful with this in the future? Okay, and now um, does the recent vote help guide your decisions on abortion moving forward? Well, I'm, I'm pro-life. I think that for me, um, what I noticed in that uh, election was that there was a lot of bad information out there. Uh, a, a lot of folks, uh, they don't want um, uh, abortion on demand. They don't want Kansas to be a destination for abortion, which it is right now. Um, and, and, you know, those same folks that don't want uh, abortion at nine months, they also don't want it to be eliminated completely. And so I think that we've got to, to go forward, take some lessons from this, um, uh, hopefully have a more honest campaign this next time so people understand exactly what the issues are and what issues are at stake and, um, and, and focus on that going forward. For my part at the federal level, I'll continue to have a pro-life voting record. Okay, Congressman LaTurner, um, we still have a lot to talk about this sure. morning, but um, we're going to take a quick break. But before that, let's get a look at your forecast.